essentially people are putting their ideas, their thoughts onto social media. And it is their thoughts that are being policed. It is the 1984 police state. I think we've, um, we've gone completely crazy in terms of our uh, thought police and, and, trying to, uh, and trying to take away free speech. We have to understand that freedom of speech is not an absolute. We have to understand that freedom of speech doesn't have an ontological foundation. You don't ground it in the divine, for example. It's not revelation that everyone is now free to say whatever they want. And just saying, well, we have the, we have the, the freedom of speech is a misnomer. You might as well say we have the right to speech. Just like in North Korea, you have the right to speech. And in China, you have the right to speech. Uh, and they have their own versions of extremism. Uh, and we have our versions of extremism based on our particular cultural taboos. So I would say that we have blindly accepted the word extremist, and that should be thrown out. I think that's a very serious, big distinction, and we ought not to sort of collide the two and start saying, oh, well, we're on a slippery slope between having a few cartoons about Mohammed into having a Guantanamo Bay. Or, as you might well guess, I'm dead against the American activity in some of these areas, and whereas being a humanist, I'm very keen on free speech. Yeah, one thing that is, that is absolutely clear and has to be absolutely clear from the outset is we do not have uh, an untrammeled right to say whatever we want, wherever we want, wherever we want. We do, within a civilised society, and in a, even in a free society, have restraints on what we can say, and that's absolutely right that we do.